Hey guys, it's Jordan from Florida Drone Supply. Today we are going to cover the ACSL Soten Before You Fly. In this video, we will cover charging, aircraft setup, installing the propellers, propeller and aircraft check, attaching the camera payload, inserting the battery, preparing the controller, inserting the SD card, and finally powering on the drone. So let's get to it. The first step is to of course charge your batteries. You'll need to charge both the aircraft and the controller. While those get charged, let's go ahead and get your aircraft set up. First, you will unfold the legs and perform a visual safety inspection of the aircraft, checking for any cracks or physical damage from transport. Next, you're going to install your propellers. Each propeller has an identifying connection, which is located on the top side of each connector. The CCW stands for counterclockwise. Those props are corresponding to one another diagonally. Once you line up your connector and motor, turn counterclockwise to lock into place. On the other propeller, the CW stands for clockwise. They are also corresponding to one another. Make sure to run your fingers along the propeller's edge as well to check for bumps, cracks, or other damage. Pay close attention to the root or hub area as unseen propeller damage is the leading aircraft failure point that can be easily detected with good pre-flight. Next, we're going to attach the camera payload. The Soten has four camera options, the standard RGB camera, the EO-IR combination camera, a multispectral camera, and an optical zoom camera. Today, I am using the standard RGB camera payload. Visually inspect both the aircraft gimbal plug and mount for any damage or dirt. Then inspect the camera to ensure a solid physical and electrical connection can be made. Next, we're going to insert the SD card. The Soten supports up to 512 gigabyte SD cards that are U3 class UHS cards and V30 or higher video speed class cards with a FAT32 or XFAT format. Although ACSL recommends XFAT for cards of 32 gigabytes. We at Florida Drone Supply recommend using multiple smaller SD cards so you don't get in the habit of having too much data on one card. For most users, a 128 gigabyte or smaller card is sufficient and more cost effective. When inserting the SD card, it should be clean and have its metal terminal side up like this. Press it until it clicks and stays securely in place. When you slide the camera into the gimbal mount, like so, make sure you hear it click when locking into place, giving you that audible verification. Your first battery should be charged by now, so let's visually inspect the battery and connections, then inspect the aircraft and insert that battery. Similarly to the camera payload, we're going to slide the battery into place and listen for the click as an audible verification that it is locked and ready to go. Now that the aircraft has its SD card and gimbal installed, arms folded out, propellers installed, a charged battery, and a proper pre-flight inspection, let's get the controller out and ensure it also has been fully charged. The Soten comes with two controller options, the standard controller that uses your phone and the takeoff app. However, if you intend to use the NDAA compliant smart controller, you will have to purchase that separately. The standard controller has antennas that fold out and should be placed in this configuration for best reception. Then place your phone into the holder like this and connect the USB cable to the controller. Pay close attention to the button placement on your phone and ensure that the mount does not accidentally press any buttons. If using the smart NDAA compliant controller, you will have to install the removable antennas to the controller like this. And you can install the optional neck strap. And there you have it. Your ACSL Soten is now ready for flight. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see the Soten's first flight video that we have coming up next. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or shoot us an email at info at floridajonesupply.com. As always, thank you so much for watching and enjoy your flight.